Hi, my name is John Bain, Vice President and General Manager for High Performance Displays at Corning Incorporated. Mobile devices are an essential part of today's interactive, device-oriented, connected world. I'm going to talk about the layers of glass that enable mobile devices to be thinner, lighter, faster, brighter, and higher resolution. The transparency, versatility, and durability of glass make it a keystone component in today's consumer electronics industry. What do we mean when we talk about cover glass versus substrate glass? The cover glass layer is the top layer in the glass stack, the piece of glass you can actually see and touch. The purpose of this glass layer is to protect the display. Mobile devices like phones and tablets are exposed to the elements and potential damage, much more so than traditional stationary displays. These devices are also touch enabled, leading to the need for a material that enables and enhances the touch experience while offering damage resistance. The substrate glass, on the other hand, is at the heart of the display itself. There are two pieces of substrate glass in a liquid crystal display, one for the TFT backplane and one for the color filter, also called the front plane. In combination, these pieces of substrate glass need to be thermally stable, support touch, and enable higher resolution and brighter colors. In addition to the cover glass and the two pieces of substrate glass, there can even be a fourth piece of glass for the touch sensor. All of these layers need to be pristine, inert, and stable, characteristics which only glass can provide. Let's start with the top layer here in the stack. This is the cover glass. This is the market essentially created by Corning Gorilla Glass back in 2007. The cover glass helps protect the display, but also improves the device appearance while supporting touch functionality. The glass must be damage resistant and tough, but also support the aesthetics of the device while enabling the touch experience. The next layer of glass under the cover glass is called the touch sensor. This layer detects touch by providing a surface for the touch electronics. The touch sensor must be thin as well as responsive, accurate, and sensitive. Below the touch sensor is the front plane for liquid crystal displays or the encapsulation layer for OLED displays. The front plane incorporates the color filter. Light from the backlight goes through the liquid crystal material, which is controlled by the thin film transistors. This light then goes through pixels, which enable the ability to generate any one of millions of colors. These red, green, and blue pixels on the front plane make up the color filter. The color filter glass must be matched to the back plane glass and must be of exceptional quality to ensure the uniformity of the liquid crystal material enclosed between the front and back planes. This enables a brighter and more uniform digital image. For an OLED display, there is no color filter glass, but there is an encapsulation layer that helps prevent damaging moisture and oxygen from reaching the sensitive organic material. The glass in this layer must be of pristine quality to ensure an airtight or hermetic seal. The final layer in the stack is the backplane layer. The backplane layer is home to the millions of transistors that drive the display. The glass used in the manufacture of the backplane is subjected to high temperature semiconductor processes. This requires the substrate to retain its superior thermal, dimensional, and surface characteristics. We have now discussed the four layers of glass in a mobile device. Each layer plays a vital role in enabling displays in today's interactive, device-oriented, and connected world. Corning is proud of our unique ability to respond to customer needs and consumer demands by providing solutions across this highly specialized continuum of advanced glasses.